Welcome to the Perry Prosthetics How-To Video Series. Today, we are joined by prosthetist Ben Hammond and our friend Lee as we dive into the basics of seal-in suspension for above-the-knee amputees. All right, Lee, so we're going to don the uh, seal-in liner here. So when you put this on, you wanna invert it completely inside out, all right? So we don't ever wanna start the liner with a big hole or a big, big bowl in there because that's gonna create airspace can cause irritation, potential blister, plus it's not on your leg all the way, so it can cause some friction and some movement. So we cut the liner specifically for your limb. We have the higher side here that's gonna go more towards the groin. The longer side is gonna go outside on, on, your, on the outside of your hip, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this on. Yep, scoot out to the end of the chair there. So I wanna go directly at the end of your limb, just slide that on there. Keep your hands kind of up closer to the edge of the, of the liner to avoid any wrinkles and just keep working that up. There you go. Try to get that reflected all the way up. Perfect. So we have the seal in ring, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of fabric material that's going to go up. The ring is down here and that's going to help hold the prosthesis on. So when we put this on, everybody. The nice thing about these movable rings, everybody is going to be a little bit different in the sense of how high or how low it is on your limb. Mm -hmm. A couple of key points to remember, we want to try to keep it nice and level. We don't want it crooked or at an angle and we don't want it wrinkled. And you can see how this flips up and down. We want to make sure that that's nice and up because if you put it on like this, the prosthesis is not gonna stay on, okay? Mm -hmm. So I wanna make sure that that stays up like that. Smooth out all this material the best you can all the way around. And these individual rings that are actually on the liner help grip this ring to keep it in position, okay? Okay. So, any right. questions about that? Does that look pretty good? Yep, all the way around. So when it comes to putting the prosthesis on, so when you're at home, you want to find a place to put this valve. Today I'll cheat for you and just keep it in my hand. So a lot of times we want to start donning the prosthesis in a seated position. It's only going to let you go so far. And then, then we can go ahead and stand up. There you go. Perfect. Yep, so when you're Standing up to put this on, sometimes, yeah, if you just get a little bit of a wider base and keep one hand on a, on a bar or a counter to keep that safe. And then one thing you want to do, you can take your finger and you should be able to feel the end of your limb down there. All right. Mm -hmm. So now, without the valve, you can try to go up and down, but it's the limb is going to continue to slide in and out. So when you put this valve in, one little tip, because it is just dumber and plastic if you cross thread it it's gonna it's gonna ruin it and yeah. make a malfunction always just go back and then righty tighty so lefty loosey a little bit and then to the right and you only want to finger tighten this mm -hmm. okay yep. if you use a tool you're never going to get it loose and that right. won't be good right and so from this point what you want to do is you want to lift the prosthesis up completely off of the ground and just nice and gentle push down on it and if you feel like you want to get more air out, as you have your weight on the prosthesis, you just push that button and let a lot more air out, okay? Yeah. That feels like all the air is out. Okay, perfect. Keep both hands on the bars for right now. There we go. Good job. Try to look up nice and tall. There you go. Good job. Looking good. So let's turn around and go back. So the next thing I want to talk about, let's have a seat. We have to talk about socks because most patients will start out with their limb. The biggest their limb will be typically is in the morning. And as the day wears on and you're wearing it 8, 10, 12 hours a day and you're doing a lot of walking, you can lose volume. So right there, you didn't feel any looseness. Everything felt good and confident. But if you ever start to feel loose and things just aren't quite as good as they were, in the morning, we have these socks to help take up space. Okay, yeah. it's essentially 
a uniform way to try to create increased contact and suspension within the prosthesis. You had that bottom of that sealant ring at the uh, second line here. So when we put this on, it's a tube socker. It's a tube essentially, it has both ends are open. They're color coded, yellow is one, the green is three, okay? Okay. If you ever feel like either one isn't working, give us a call and we'll make some adjustments for you. So the green was three times as thick as the yellow one? Correct. So when you put this on, the color goes to the top, and if you know that you feel comfortable with your ring right there at that second line, yeah. just stop that right there. We'll go a little bit higher and just fold that like that. And then when you put this on, whatever you do, make sure that the fabric from the ring and the fabric from the sock doesn't go over the over the ring. Over the rubber part. Correct, because then it will not create any form of suspension for you. So you can take the end of the sock, put that right down there all the way around, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to fold this back over. You're going to pull that sock up as high as you can. You want to try to get any and all the wrinkles out, all right? And then, as we start to put on our prosthesis, and you get farther down in, it'll be a process of continuing to work the sock out over the ed outer edge of the prosthesis all the way around. I'd like to just go through that process with you so you, you understand how to do that. Okay. So yeah, at this point, I wouldn't even worry about the valve. I would just try to get all that sock out of there. And again, when you put this on, again, just turn it to the left a little bit. You can almost feel and hear it click. Feel it find the threads. Yep. You can feel find that. the start of the threads. If you feel like you really have to force it to tighten it, yeah. chances are you're not with, you're not in the threads. Right. If it's too hard, it's not right. Yeah. Correct. All right, Lisa. We're gonna put on this liner. Okay. We went through it before, but this, now it's your turn. I like to call them pop quizzes for patients, so if there's questions or concerns, I'm right here to help you. Okay. Okay, so that's the ring where we were stopping. Yep. What, what we so we're going to take the sealant ring, okay, and you want to fold that bottom of that sock up a little bit just to get it out of the way, okay. and that's just going to allow more freedom when you put the sealant ring. Remember, you can't have any material underneath of that ring, because then it'll just act as an air wick. So then fold that back down away from you, the fabric of the ring. Position. It's just safer. Remember, just always finger tight. The team at Perry Prosthetics is always available to answer questions from patients, family members, and medical professionals. Contact us at any time.